Greetings and welcome to a very special edition of Simmer's Morning Skate. It is my distinct pleasure to bring in uh, a uh, renowned guest who's talking to us from Finland right now. And it's Gordon Stube, who has been the director of the NHL Central Scouting Bureau in Europe for 40 years. Good morning, sir. Good afternoon. Good morning evening. Morning to you, or good <laughs> evening from here. <laughs> exactly. 40 years um, running the entire thing. And just a moment ago, we were chatting before we got started, and you're telling about some of the big changes. Just give us an idea of the scope of this from the, the scouting element when you started 40 years ago. Well, let's say my first international tournament working for National Hockey League Central Scouting was in April 84. They were like, six or seven NHL scouts attending that under 18 European Championship tournament in Germany. There were guys like uh, Neil Smith, uh, Marshall Johnston, Lars yep. Erik Sjöberg, but seven, eight. Now, yep. after six weeks, the next season will start with what we call the Linka Gretzky tournament in Czechia and Slovakia, and uh, the scouts have started to register. And at present, I have already won over 100 names, and that's only 10 teams giving me the names. So from six scouts, April 84, now there will be close to between 250, 300 guys attending this tournament. Unbelievable. And you're in charge. Just give the folks an idea of. I'm I'm looking right now at your Central Scouting Bureau European list of your top prospects. Your final list as we head into the draft. So I, I'm I'm guessing this is just a year round. You and your scouts um, are putting this list together essentially and providing this information. Well, yeah, we start our season starts. Uh, let's say then. The upcoming season started for for us working for Central Scouting in Europe. We attended a uh, under-17 tournament in Czechia in April. My whole whole group was there because we feel it's important to see the guys. At that time, they were the under-17 teams. Now, in August, they will be under-18. So that's 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 the guys guys will be drafted after one year. So it's important for us to be able to help the NHL scouts attending, for instance, the link Gretzky tournament, who they should watch. So we kind of mark the players A, B, or C, depending on what we think where they might go in the draft after one year. So it's just, we're, we're, we're just, a, we're a kind of a second opinion. Right. And you just, you're, I mean, we're looking at your list for what's going to happen here in the next two weeks, and you're already starting on the 2024. But you will, after 40 years, will no longer be the director. At the sprite age of 88, you've decided to hand the reins over to uh, our friend JP, who we've spoken to a few times, who also has a deep background in hockey, right? Yes. He was, the, he's, yeah, he has been, he has been involved in hockey as a player as a manager for the Finnish Ice Hockey Federation, as a manager for the Finnish League. And he was also the head of the Olympic Ice Hockey Tournament in Italy, Turin, some years ago. And that's very, JP, very good guy. JP Voronin? Yes. Um, for, for the sake of the fans in the Pacific North, let, let's say Vancouver and Seattle, uh, because we have a little Seattle hockey insider and a little Vancouver hockey insider going on. I think they would both be interested in uh, Axel Sandin Palika. He's a right shot defenseman. Both those teams could use it. Uh, what's your thoughts on who you have ranked seventh on the international skater list? Well, he's not the biggest defenseman, but he's extremely skilled very, very skilled. And he kind of takes control of the ice, both in the defensive zone and in the offensive zone. He's a very good playmaker. He's very good puck handler. 
and he has a surprisingly good shot. I really like him. A very, very smart player. I, in my opinion, he is probably the top three defenseman in this year's draft. Definitely. Uh, another name that's come up, and this was more I've heard Vancouver people talking about, uh, Tom Vlander uh, from the Swedish juniors. He's another right shot defenseman. Ranked lower. Well, Tom Vlander, he is uh, originally, I think, from Stockholm, but then he moved to Rögle in southern Sweden, and he's one of the most improved players during last season, during the 22-23 season. He did not only play junior hockey, he also played some games in the Swedish league with seniors. And uh, as I understand, he was more or less outstanding at the World Under-18 tournament in, in uh, Switzerland in April. Right. Really, really good player too. Well, um, just off the top of your head, we keep hearing about how strong this draft is, especially in the first round. It's pretty deep. Would, is, is How much of that has to do with some of these names in the European list? And how deep is this European list this year, maybe compared, just kind of casually compared to more recent years? Well, if you, the problem, of course, in, in Europe last season was that uh, the Russians couldn't was not allowed to compete with other nations. Right. So it has been very extremely difficult or impossible to compare some of the top Russian players with, with uh, let's say, the Western players. Yep. But in this year's draft, I would say Sweden will be very strong. I wouldn't be surprised if, if there were, could be six to seven Swedes, perhaps even eight going in the first round. Wow. Nowadays, around 30% of the players drafted and then playing international hockey, they have been ra raised in Europe. So in my opinion, or my guess is that around 10, 11 Europeans will be drafted in the first round. And out of these 10, 11, I think there could be as high as seven or eight Swedes. Wow. Uh, I, I did notice another uh, Slovakian name sneak in there, by the way, after last year's amazing performance. Uh, I mean, the top two guys last year are, are Slovakian. And we're talking about, you know, it's a hockey country, but it's much smaller population-wise and opportunity-wise than, than, than the others. And now I think it's Dalibor Dvorsky is another one that's trained in Sweden, but he's a, he's a Slovakian kid. What's going on in the, with the Slovakians here all of a sudden? Well, a lot of a lot of uh, Slovakian kids are are playing outside their own country. Right. Slavkovsky last year he played in Finland, mm -hmm. and Dvorsky he's uh, he's uh, I don't remember now how many play how many years he had been playing in Sweden, but. Uh, he has developed in Sweden very well, and he played both senior and junior hockey with uh, a AIK in Stockholm. So here we have again; it has helped him a lot. I think that he has he's used to play with and against seniors. Yeah, uh, of course, as it relates to to the Slovakian national team, you know, at various levels, that it, that bodes well for them down the road because they obviously are producing talent in their country, even if it's training somewhere else, they'll at least get to represent their, their country at some point. Um, Goran, now I understand this year you will not be in Nashville, but last year you went to Montreal and in to not to finish your last season, but to kind of kick off your last season, Gary Bettman uh, threw a little party for you and, and, and showed his appreciation for all the work you've done over the last four decades. Yeah, that, yes, that was a very nice gesture from Mr. Batman and Mr. Daly, and of course from Dan Marr, who organized the whole thing, and uh, it was a really nice lunch, and I was very happy because my two sons also attended the lunch, and that was their first draft, so they saw what Dad has been doing for the last 30, 40 years. <laughs> that was their first draft in, in Montreal last year. Yeah. That's great. 
Uh, well, I had a friend who just happened to call me this uh, morning right before we jumped on here. He worked for the Rangers. He was team ops with the Stanley Cup in 94 when they won it. And he said he met you 30 years ago when you came over and attended a couple of New York Rangers games. He said you were a wonderful guy then. And we happen to know you're a wonderful guy now. And uh, we wish you uh, all the best, uh, Gorn, as you transition into your job as a consultant here and hand over the reins after four decades of miraculous work with the uh, NHL Central Scouting Bureau in Europe. Congratulations on all that. Thank you. We appreciate your time and your input, and you're still pumping out the information after all these years. It's pretty remarkable. So thank you very much. And um, I'm sure we'll be talking to you down the road and uh, enjoy the uh, so. enjoy the summer in Finland. Thank you.